hello 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 welcome to my channel this is Frida I would like to talk about the embryo style how to crochet so what happened was my customer she sent me yarn that she had from her stash she's a knitter and I am crocheting this eyelet cardigan I do have a tutorial and I just did a redo and how to set it up the first row was very important and like I said, the rest is pie. So it goes so easy and so smooth. Okay, so what I did is she she wanted certain colors. So I started like this. So I started with this color. I finished the entire 100 gram of yarn. And what I'm doing is I'm doing two ply because this yarn is too thin for me to crochet this card again. I need a three weight or at least a light three between three weight to light four weight for me to crochet this uh, that will fit a large size extra large two extra large even three extra large it will it fits me perfectly due to the arm area because she wanted big and she's a large size okay so what I did is I finished the entire one ball of this color you can see it's just gorgeous. It's 90% merino wool and 10% linen. And what I did is I continued with the second. As you can see, it's getting wider. That's why I have less rows here. So I finished the entire hank of that yarn as well. And then what I did is I continue knitting with this gorgeous, gorgeous uh, Tweedy uh, effect uh, color. And what happened was, okay, uh, what I did is, because I wasn't quite sure how much yarn I, I, I would need, to, how much rows I need to crochet. So what I did is, I did two rows, I believe. And then, and then I divide the body parts. That is when I need to divide the body parts, because I have uh, crocheted about 10 inches long. I get this question a lot, even I have uh, tutorials for it, so uh, if you can please go into my playlist, I did uh, uh, make a playlist, so uh, how to crochet, what was it, top down diamond uh, card again, so I, I have this in that uh, playlist as well, and I will add this video as well, because it is a diamond, right? So I'm going to put all my diamond uh, stitches patterns into that playlist. So what I did is I crocheted about 10 inches long. Let me just bring my uh, measuring ta tape and I'll be right back. Okay, I put the camera on my iPod because I was holding and it's difficult with, you know, to use your two hands. Okay, so what I did is I have crocheted about 10 inches long that's all i did i'm not counting anything i'm going with the measurements 10 inches so again this will fit it depends on how big your arm is right that's the main thing so this one will goes up to uh, 18 inches 18 inches on your bicep your largest area so this will fit if you have a large bicep area if you crochet about 10 inches long or I would say 25 centimeter long for a plus size I'm saying so a large size extra large two extra large and three extra large this will fit comfortably okay after uh, uh, crocheting uh, 10 uh, inches long i divide the body parts which which was i included this color as well i needed i crocheted so i crocheted one two actually three rows yeah so i did three rows let's just show you and after crocheting three rows what i did is uh i had to cut the yarn because uh i'm knitting inside and outside i usually don't but for this for this custom order I have to and uh, I hate doing that but what can you do so what I did is doesn't this look nice 
I put it on and it just looks fantastic. I really like this uh, uh, diamond eyelet in the middle. There's an eyelet. And I'm going to come up with a different diamond with lacy. <laughs> so stay tuned for that. You know, I'm always trying to figure out different, you know, stitches. Okay, let's come back. So what I did is, I wasn't quite sure. I had to use my judgment. So I thought to myself, six roses, six rows would be enough. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, see here, one, two, three. Four, five, six. I don't know. I just picked that color. Maybe from here I figured out. I don't know. And it went perfect. So what I did is I wasn't quite sure. So I cut the yarn and I fit. I came here and I did six rows. I cut the yarn and I went to the other sleeve and I did six rows. And then I came back and I finished the entire Hank cake. So one, two, three, four, five, six. And it went perfect. Just perfect okay and then I started with uh, I had to start it with this color so what I did is I thought to myself because I'm doing decreases here right we're doing decreases and I do have a tutorial on how to do that so please go and check it out and this is how I do my decreases see how nice it looks it's seamless and as soon as uh, I finish a couple of rows I put my label because uh, this is the front and another thing, everyone asks me, <laughs> how do you know if it's right or wrong? Well, you don't. You just need to pick one side, which I did. This is how I picked uh, with the collar here, where the, where I started at the beginning. What I did is, this is the, as you can see, this is the right side. This is the wrong side. So automatically, I said this is the right side. And after when I finish the cardigan, I will do the border with the pico. And I do have a tutorial for that, so go and check it. I will put the link, and I will put the playlist at the end of this video, so you just need to click it. Because uh, when I put the link below, no one sees that. So at the end of this video, there will be two uh, windows that will pop up. Pick up the playlist. And uh, YouTube uh, picks up the, I don't know, the best video that recommends on my t video channel but i will put the playlist and you just need to click it and pick up the videos that you want to watch so uh, when i do the border i will do it this side and then it will look like this it will show you the right side of the crochet instead of showing you the bumpy the wrong side that's how i figure it out okay so i what i because of doing the decreases I said to myself, okay, I'm going to do seven rows. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Actually, I did some areas are eight, some areas are seven, but mostly it's seven. And I did the same symmetric on the other side because I need to do what I'm doing on this side, right? For the sleeve, it's like knitting a sock. You need to, you know, do the same on the other one so when i put put it on it fits the same okay so what i did is i said to myself okay i finished the sleeve with the same color i'm going to finish up the yarn which i did and it went out perfectly so one two three four five six okay it's uh, showing six rows here okay but some areas are seven so one two three four five six okay this part is six again so here so it must be here one two three four five six. Oh, okay it's six so it is going six six okay and um yeah so what i'm going to do is i'm going to start with this color and i'm going to finish up the sleeve because it she just wanted 17 inches the sleeve area so the way I'm going to measure it, let me just fold it this way so you can see. Okay, so I'm looking at it. This one is total of uh, uh, seven inches long from, from the underarm. That's how I'm measuring. And it comes to my elbow. Okay, and then uh, she, she's not a big girl like I am. She's not tall, so she didn't want it that long to sleeve. So I'm aiming for the 17 inch. So I'm looking at this. 
So when I look at it, one color is crocheting about four inches, right? So when I add uh, seven to the, what you call it, seven to the, comes to 11, see? So I'm going to be crocheting. That's how I'm going to be crocheting. I will crochet seven rows with this color. And then that would be ending me with 11. Okay, and then I have two cakes that I'm going to finish it up. So I will finish up the rest. Thinking maybe it will be long. Yeah, because I'm putting on, putting it on. Always put on, if you're especially uh, making raglan, like um, top-down garments. Always try it on. It's like a chef, right? Every time a chef cooks something, they have to taste how it how it is right so if you're creating something especially raglan top down i would highly recommend you to put it on so i am putting this on as i'm going so i'm thinking this is almost on up to my elbow so i don't think i need to uh crochet 17 uh, inches and i haven't blocked this that's another thing because this is merino wool it will stretch see so i have to use that as a another thing so it does stretch about eight inches so I need to use that as well so what I'll do is I'll crochet about seven rows of this or maybe even six well then it would be less right so I need to figure out six rows seven rows of this and I will finish up with these because uh, I have two cakes I will finish up with this and the sleeves will be done okay uh, the length she wanted a little bit long the way I'm seeing it I don't think I will have enough uh, enough yarn, you know, just because this is going to be for winter, right? When you think about it. So let me just figure it out. So I am crocheting about seven rows. Well, these at least uh, this one's going to be seven rows. So when I put that in mine. <clears throat> So it's uh, only 13 and uh, the black cardigan that I have crocheted is about 33 inches long. The cotton one that I did. So I don't think this is going to be that long, right? So when I add, so the seven rows is just about three inches, right? And I still have to do one row of the border. So let me figure that one. So that would be about less than an inch. So one, two, three. So it will be 18 inch when I crochet this. Another three, one, two, three. Yeah, I think it would be enough. Yeah, because I'm going to finish up with these two cakes. So... So that would be three, three. Well, yeah, I'm not quite sure. So I'm thinking if I crochet this entire cake, well, I'm going to be finishing it up with these, right? So it's going to be at least, I don't know, about five, six inches more. So when you add that, it's going to be just over 20 inches long. And I think that would be enough. I don't know, because uh, she's not a big girl like I am, I said. So after blocking, it will just go down to 22, maybe even 23 inches. And uh, yeah, so what I'm trying to say is this is how you can give that uh, embryo, uh, embryo, I don't know even how you pronounce that word, uh, different colors that you can use to create a different uh, style. I remember, I believe in 2000 and... 12, I have knit a cardigan with my, you know, you buy, you, you fell in love with this yarn, this color. That's what we love about the softness. And uh, I think I had, a, I don't know how many, I, I, I didn't do tutorials that I should have. Uh, but I have a tutorial on how to knit that one of the stitches that I was working on. So what I did is, like the embryo wasn't even out then. I just made it up. I used up different skeins of uh like different hanks of uh greens that i had and it turned and i knitted it i didn't crochet i knit that one as you know knit when you knit it doesn't use up that much yarn 
if I knitted this, it would have been a huge, you know, long cardigan. But uh, she wanted this uh, this style. Yeah, so it turned out perfect. Like those, we didn't. It wasn't this popular. It just popped out. I don't know, 2016, I believe it got so popular, so uh, famous. And uh, so you can use the colors that you have in your stash and then create your own. So what she did is, I believe she fell in love with the colors she bought. And then she thought, oh, this would be perfect to uh, crochet up a card again. And I think it's turning out pretty good. This color is a little bit off though, but yeah, it just pops up, right? So adding this will soften a little bit. <laughs> Uh, I don't know, every color is, uh, I just really like this one, but it just, uh, it's because of the color being pastel, it's, I believe it's lost, but it's still showing. I don't know what you guys think. It's turning out pretty good. So you can use your judgment on the uh, size that you're crocheting. I would, like I said, I did six rows and I finished it up and it went six rows. So it, it is, when you look at it, it just blends in. The rows and everything yeah so uh, i will finish this up and if you want to see the finish uh what i did is i created a tiktok account if you want to want to go and check i have to put the links on those uh tiktok as well into my uh tree family tree of lincoln's and uh yeah it's it's angora uh, it's angora bolera same as my instagram uh, name and uh I will be adding this. I probably I'll be wearing it and uh, putting a nice music for you guys to enjoy. Yeah, if you want to go and check my check it on the finished uh, that I finish uh, looks that I uh, I do post it on my Instagram page and I do get uh, appreciation pictures from customers. They usually don't leave me um, feedback, but they send me. So the reason even that's good. I do share that. I just shared one yesterday. And it's, it's nice to receive nice feedback. Yeah, again, so uh, this is how you can create your own embryo look, the colors that you have in your stash. Like this one was variegated, and this is solid color. Again, this one was variegated, be, being the, the tweed and stuff. And this is solid. Okay, this is solid. And this one has colors in it, if you look at it. So you can play around and create one of a kind that no one can, you know, wear the same color or same style. Yours will be one of a kind. So I hope you like this information. Again, this is just uh, uh, feedback from uh, what I've been uh, working up with. Again, I'm going to do the border. So this is going to be about like it's going to increase a little bit. And uh, yeah, I don't know why this is curly. And again, I haven't blocked this yet. So it is a little bit of a wrinkly look. But when you block it, you know, it will uh, give that nice, the stitch will show up like it will stretch a little bit, just a little bit. And then, see, even the, by pulling, it looks fantastic. Yeah, so uh, stay tuned. Uh, I'm, I'm going to come up with uh, another tutorial, with a knitting tutorial this time. If you're a knitter as well, come and watch that one as well. Just received a custom order for a knitting. Uh, I get the, that another question. Well, how come you're not knitting anymore? I do knit. I just don't post pictures of me knitting because uh, I have. To, it's a custom order, and I have to knit. Well, this is a custom order too, but this takes more time. And she ordered a couple of uh, cardigans, so I'm gonna squeeze uh, the other one in between. And, uh, yeah, it's because uh, this is mindless. I can just crochet this while watching a TV. On the other one, I just need to do some math. And uh, that's why I'm doing the tutorial for you guys to see. Okay, so stay tuned for my uh, other tutorials. And I do come up here and say hello, live stream, on the 27th of uh, each month. Started last year. Yeah, you guys take care and uh, I will uh, see you soon. Happy crocheting. Have fun.